I saw there's an Asian supermarket here and I saw it's very good so I'm just gonna look inside if it's open of course Thank you. So I got some uh, seaweed at this Korean shop. So this seaweed. So here we are at the Eigelstein Tower. In this gate, um, Napoleon and Josephine marched into Cologne. It's one of the four medieval gates that still exists uh, after the bombings in World War II. So, so like I was saying, there were 12 medieval gates in Cologne, but only uh, four of them survived the bombings of the World War and this, this is one of them, the Eigelstein Gate. One thing I really like about Cologne is that it has many Asian restaurants and shops. You can see here for instance an Asian supermarket here another one and I just came from a sushi shop sushi restaurant and a Korean supermarket so if you like Asian things it's definitely worth a visit and now we arrived at the second Romanesque church of the 12 Romanesque churches that are left in Cologne this one is called the church or the Basilica of St. Ursula and apparently the name is based on the, the story of St. Ursula which is about supposedly 11,000 virgins being buried underneath this church in an old Roman cemetery so there you have it I'm on my way to the next Romanesque church and this neighborhood well I was gonna say this neighborhood is very nice and quiet and there was a car with music but it is definitely a nice quiet neighborhood I think it has some old wall here on this side and I hear birds singing. It's quite nice to walk here. In the back over there, you can already see our destination. It's uh, another one of the Romanesque churches. So here behind these trees you have the Saint Gerion Basilica. It was built in the 12th century or finished in the 13th century. Uh, it has one of the biggest domes of all basilica in the west. It's here at the front. And it was also partly destroyed, but thankfully they uh, restored it. And here you can see remains of a Roman tower which was part of the old Roman wall of Cologne. As you can see it has 
some interesting mosaics it's decorated all around the tower is called the Roma Tour it's, uh, it's a very old wall or tower possibly from the 10th century or early and here we have the fourth of the 12 uh, Romanesque churches that we saw today and now we have the Church of the Twelve Apostles the Saint Apostles Church I just found a nicer bakery at least it looked more authentic and they have many different things also with nut flowers and spelt and different kinds of flowers and I got this kind of hazelnut cake it looks like this I think it's without gluten I hope it said it was with hazelnut and egg white so should be interesting I spent some time resting on a bench next to the Saint Apostles Church I also drank quite a bit because uh, I've been walking a lot and it's very hot so it's important to rest enough but now I'm on my way to one of the four remaining medieval gates of Cologne we saw one already and uh, now we are going to another one so it looks like this is the gate it's called the Hanentor so the rooster's gate and yeah it looks pretty pretty old about Cologne is the it has many many restaurants cafes you can really get any type of food you seen you want it's, uh, even in the outside like the outskirts of the center you can still find many restaurants here near the church of saint peter and also the neumarkt which is a big square in cologne you have museum schnitken which is an art museum from the middle ages so it has art from the middle ages if that's your kind of thing then this is the place to go and here behind these trees here you have the St. Peter's Church number six of the 12 Romanesque churches somehow it's very hard to film buildings here because it's blocked by either big trees or other buildings but that's the St. Peter Church it is the place where the painter Rubens, uh, Rubens was baptized and it also houses one famous painting made by Rubens uh, it was built in the 16th century now now it's owned by the Jesuits so now it's a Jesuit church Let's see if it's open like in heaven so on earth so I think this is the painting that Ru Rubens painted So the 
this church is completely renovated. It has some old features like this ceiling, but it has a very modern vibe to it. But quite humble, quite interesting. And it's really cool in here, so that's another great reason to be here. So that was the St. Peter Church. It's the first one that I could actually enter, which is nice. And it had some art, a painting by Rubens, who is a famous Dutch painter who also was baptized in this church. So quite an interesting place and very nice on a hot day like this to get some uh, fresh air inside I mean some cold air it's very fresh in there I made it to the seventh of the twelve Romanesque churches of Cologne it's the Saint Pantaleon church I'll show you how it looks. So that's how it looks. It's quite pretty and it's surrounded by trees. Uh, enough driveway, a little park. And it's very old. In the 10th century there was already an old church on this site. In the 12th century it was extended and yeah it's looks like quite a nice church with two towers it's got a different style from the others but they are renovating this church right now so unfortunately I cannot go inside so I'll look for somewhere else to go. It's uh, getting kind of grey, kind of like storm clouds are coming. So I might need to find a place where I can uh, be safe. So I had to hide somewhere because the storm started and it was pretty crazy and I ended up in a, a random pub, local pub. They were not sure what I was doing there but uh, I asked do you have tea but they didn't Then I just asked the water and yeah they gave water and I stayed until it was dry again and now I'm on my way to uh, another church well I'm already there I will show you so that's the Saint Seferin, Seferin church and it turns out that's actually one of the oldest churches of Cologne it was started in the 4th century and then it was uh, extended several times and it looks like it's actually open so you might see how it is on the inside and maybe you can see there's a kind of all-seeing eye on the clock or the sun or looks very interesting Well, there was not much to see on the inside and it said you had to put on a mask and I don't feel like getting mine it's also too quiet to film in there so yeah uh, basically it's a gothic well it has some gothic features the church there and um, yeah I don't know much else about it but 
There's another thing really close to here, which is one of the four remaining gates of Cologne. So I think I said before there were 12 gates and now I know why. It's to mirror Jerusalem because Jerusalem also was built with 12 gates and then they made Cologne with 12 gates as well. But uh, yeah, there are only four left and now I will show you one of them. This part of the city, it's uh, very old actually. There you have the Saint Seferin um, gate and it turns out it's even older than the dome, the cathedral of Cologne. It was built in the 1st to 3rd century, so very old, very old gate. It's definitely a Roman building that was very prominent. And this is one of the most southern parts of Cologne. Uh, I walked quite far. Now I'm gonna go all the way back to the north. And yeah, there are many homeless people here, I noticed. A lot of poverty here. Here there's a little traditional market. So the weather is still not that good, it's raining a bit, uh, but the thunder is done and yeah, it's, it's okay for walking. And here you have the St. George's Church, number 9 of the 12. Romanesque churches of Cologne, but it looks like there's not much left of this church to be honest. I also couldn't find much about it, but uh, yeah, St. George's Church. Twelve Romanesque churches. It's the smallest of all of them. Oops, it's raining, so it's not handy. Um, yeah, it was built in the twelfth century. So I've made it to the <coughs> cathedral in the end, inside the cathedral, and they said I don't even need to wear a mask, so. It's okay. It's quite impressive, the cathedral. I can see why they say it's the tallest cathedral in the world.
61% of the buildings in Cologne were destroyed by the bombings in the Second World War, but somehow this survived. I just find it amazing. I made it to the St. Andrew's Church. It's, um, it's quite close to the cathedral actually. This church, the St. Andrew's, was built originally in the 10th century. Also Romanesque style and later it was restored and now it belongs to the Dominicans. So I don't know what happened to me today but I got an obsession with the 12 Romanesque churches. That's why the best way to end today is to show the last of the 12 Romanesque churches that I saw today. So here it is. So this is the Basilica of Saint Cunibert. It was built in the 13th century last of the 12 Romanesque churches and after that they started building the Kölne Dom, so the cathedral. And what makes this church special is that it has three towers. Most of them have two, but this one has three towers. So now it's time to head back to the car. We've walked around most of Cologne, seen the main sites, and uh, I think I could use some rest now. So I'll see if I uh, feel more, but if not, then until the next one. Well, that was Cologne. I came back from the event and we drove home together. My wife told me that she really liked Cologne in the end, so if you're here, check it out, it's worth it. We hope that you liked watching this video as much as I liked editing it, and make sure to stick around and watch our other videos. Thanks and bye!